Welcome back to another edition of my shorts right here at the ranch here, smoking what passes for a lucky strike till payday, sorting the world's problems out in between cups of coffee, because morning time. Oh, it's no secret. Uh, I'm all hosed out, and I'm having a mental health day. The world has treated me like Ned Beatty in Deliverance with uh, that retarded some bitch they shot with a bow and arrow for cornhole and the fat guy, and uh, then his buddy with the shotgun and no teeth. And dear God, a birdie mouth. Yeah, that's what life said to me yesterday. I decided to break it off in my ass. So here I am sitting here in my ranting chair, smoking what passes for a lucky strike, and pretending not to cry inside because. I already feel like it today, and I just got out of bed. But I digress. So, we told uh, uh, about the vacation where uh, Uncle Johnny, you know, basically stood up for me. Because everybody was just treating me like the, the beta male I was growing into being. And, uh, and so, something changed in me, you know. Maybe my balls finally dropped, I don't know. But that vacation, you know, it was, it was a fun one. We all went shooting. We had a good time. We got to play with the CZ-75, and I've always wanted one since I was a little kid, you know. And, uh, you know, we went home. Well, a year or two later, you know, I was probably 14 in high school, I think. And, uh, you know, we went up to the family cabin because we always went the last two weeks in July, right? It's just the way it worked, you know. So we'd take the vacation and we'd go up there. And Uncle Blake usually was there and, you know, doing us, you know, the, the whole spiel about, well, you need to chip in your end of this for this because this broke and blah, blah, blah. And, you know, the work. But, like I said, you know, the two things I looked forward to were going shooting and swimming. And if I was good, I got to go shooting twice, right? I mean, of course, we, we spent, like, all day there, you know, when we were going shooting. So, uh, I was, like, making sure I was really good. Well, you know, Uncle Blake had uh, sent me to make him another mixed drink of some kind. which That was a common thing for the adults to do was, uh, go fetch me a drink. I'm not getting up, and you're a short person, and you're going to do what I'm telling you. So... I went and made him a drink, and he couldn't figure out, well, why is he so excitable to do this? Well, it's because uh, one for him and uh, one for me. All right. I figured out I'd make him a stronger drink. It meant that I didn't have to get up so many fucking times, you know, learning all the time, right? But eventually, you know, the day would come, and the adult men would get bored of doing their work, and out would come the beers, and... Then we'd get on the Bayliner boat, and we'd go cruising around the lake. Now, I had two choices. I could stay at the cabin with the women folk and be made to do more chores, or I could get on the boat and have beers and maybe drive the boat. Well, I think we know which choice I chose, right? Let's get on the boat. Of course, my mother was terrified of water, you know, always has been, always will be. Maybe in swimming lessons until I fucking started shaving, you know, for whatever reason, even though I didn't really like swimming lessons because I already knew how to swim. But fucking, you know, that's what mothers do. And uh, so I'm on the boat. Uh, Dad's drunk, way drunk, uh, puking over the side of the boat. Blake is, is sitting there in place, keeping one foot firmly on the floor and one foot firmly on the dash, uh, dribbling on himself because he is also very drunk. And uh, I, I've had a few beers at this point. I'm nowhere near soused. It was definitely uh, not American sober. It was Irish sober, you know, in that magical place where bad decisions dwell you know, it was it was fast approaching. I knew very quickly that we were going to have to get this boat home somehow. Now, I don't have a driver's license. Uh, you know, I've barely started shaving. And I'm like 14 years old. Okay, 
so I did what any responsible kid would do, is make sure Dad didn't fall over the edge of the boat, and put him laying down in his fucking chair, right? I made sure Uncle Blake was nowhere near the driver's seat, and I turned the boat on. Now, I started out slow until I got the handling down, and then I proceeded to, you know, light off a big old rooster tail with this fucking boat, and uh, get towards the dock, right? Now, around this time, Uncle Blake wakes up, yo, give me the fucking steering wheel, you don't know how to drive, you little bastard, and he about parked the fucking boat on the dock, realizing that he was very, very drunk, he let me park the boat. And by the time the women folk are coming down to cuss the men folk out for being gone too long on the boat, because they always wanted to go shopping and shit, and, you know, they wanted us to drive, I guess. <laughs> Just the way it, it works, you know, women want the money and men want to go get drunk on the boat. So, I made very sure that uh, mom did not see the condition dad was in, uh, and that Uncle Blake was in the driver's seat, because while Uncle Blake being drunk driving the boat was a bad idea, I don't think the women would have been too appreciative of uh, young Joe driving the boat because everybody was soused. But that's, that's what they did on vacation, man. And as always, as Billy flies his little fucking plane over me. And I don't have two brains to rub together today, uh, much less two brain cells to rub together. Uh, I'm going to go drink my coffee and work up the courage to take a shower and brush the teeth. Because today's mom's shower day, too, so that means extra fucking work for me. As always, if you like the video, you like the video. If you don't, you don't. I don't really care. Uh, this is just me dwelling in a happier place in my life, because the one I'm in right now fucking stinks. But what are you going to do? As always, take care. God bless. Have a wonderful day. And until we meet again, fucking Thursday is around the corner, and I think it's Wednesday. <laughs>